So this is all about rocks and the first kind of rock we're going to look at um, they're igneous rocks. This is an igneous rock. Um, first, we, first we need to know how they're formed and they're formed when um, either magma inside a volcano or lava when it comes out of a volcano that they're liquid but when they come out they can cool down and when they cool they turn from a liquid to a solid and as you can see this rock is is very very solid and um, we also notice that igneous rocks have crystals now this this rock here has big crystals and you get big crystals if the rock cools slowly but you get small crystals if the rock cools quickly and the last thing you need to know about igneous rocks is an example of one which is granite this isn't granite but granite is an igneous rock The next kind of rock is sedimentary rock. These are formed when small teeny bits of sediment are squashed together, are compacted over millions of years. Um, so this, you can see the layers of sedimentary rock. Notice they don't contain any interlocking crystals, which means they can be eroded, worn away more easily. Also, sedimentary rocks, as we can see here, uh, can contain fossils as well. You don't find fossils in the other two types of rock. Um, the last thing you need to know about sedimentary rock are just two examples. Chalk and limestone are both types of sedimentary rock and they're both made out of calcium carbonate. And that's sedimentary rock done. So this is my third type of rock, and this is a metamorphic rock. You can see it has crystals. Unlike sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock has crystals. Now, how is metamorphic rock formed? Well, if I take heat and pressure on sedimentary rock over millions of years, eventually that sedimentary rock turns into metamorphic rock, which is much harder and has crystals. And an example of metamorphic rock is marble.